there's sort of a presumption that when the federal government is selling you a vehicle that it's going to be safe. Well, that's what you would think, but three on your side found that is not always the case. More than a dozen recalled vehicles are up for auction right now by the feds here in the Valley. And you know what? It's perfectly legal. That has safety advocates and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle asking the government to step in. Here's three on your side, Susan Campbell. The recalls we're talking about are for all kinds of safety defects, everything from seat belts that may not work in a crash to vehicles that don't lock and park and could roll away. Safety advocates say auctioning off these recalled vehicles puts everyone on the road at risk. Behind the fence, 86 cars, trucks and SUVs went up for auction this month. The seller, our federal government. On auction day at Metro Auto Auction in Phoenix, our cameras weren't allowed inside, but we did get information about every single vehicle that was for sale. And we checked the vehicle identification numbers. 19 vehicles had open recalls, some of them with multiple safety defects. This Ram truck has four recalls, including one that could cause the cruise control to lock up and even accelerate without warning. This Ford Fusion has three recalls is that the seatbelts may not work in a crash. And several others are under recall because of defective and potentially deadly Takata airbags. That's the, the most disturbing part is that when you're dealing with a repair that's been available for a year, two years, sometimes more than that. Jason Levine is the executive director of the Center for Auto Safety. He's been tracking this issue across the country. Remember, the U.S. Department of Transportation manages these recalls but then other branches of the government are going out and selling them and having employees use them. That's really a scandal that um, is not only unfortunate, but is fixable. Levine says there are currently 25,000 vehicles in the federal government's general services administration fleets that have open recalls. It's unclear how many have been sold at auction while under recall. The GSA didn't want to answer our questions on camera, sending us a statement saying in part that, quote, GSA strongly believes in the importance of vehicle safety and operates a robust recall management program. The agency said it enters recall data into its fleet management system and sends monthly reports to fleet managers to keep unresolved recalls at the forefront of their attention. That's not an acceptable answer. Representative Raja Krishnamurthy is an Illinois congressman. He's sponsoring a bipartisan bill that would require federal agencies to get recalls fixed on their fleets. The bill would also prohibit the federal government from auctioning off any of its vehicles with open recalls. The taxpayers don't have to pay a dime to have these cars repaired. And so um, this is the biggest no-brainer in government. For the auction in Phoenix, vehicle descriptions online did show the recalls. But this handout consumers and car dealers got on site didn't. Let's say that you went to one of these auctions to buy one of these cars or buy a car from a dealer who had gone to an auction and got one of these cars. Um, most likely, you're not going to know that it's subject to recall. And so you take that car off the lot thinking, oh, OK, well, this would meet all the safety laws. And then suddenly you find out it doesn't. And you and your family would be put in harm's way. Harm's way that could have been avoided at several turns. For this report, we were only talking about recalled GSA vehicles up for auction. But overall, according to Carfax, there are more than 1.3 million cars, trucks, and SUVs on the road right now in Arizona with open recalls. It's easy to check. You just need your VIN number and you can search online. We have a link to help you right now on our website, azfamily.com. I'm three on your side, Susan Camp.